Yeah, man, sup with purples, my name is Blaz Beats. Another way of recording track mutes. Perchance, the best one for the machina, made by my guy, Ansbert. Check him out. The customized and elicitation ability of the machina plus still amazes me, especially with these reactor ensembles. Download from the link in the description. If you're on software, you want to go to your native instruments folder, user content, reactor, and put the Selma gun right there. Stand alone on your SD card, go to Native Instruments, User Content, Reactor, Ensembles. Pop it in there. Let's give it a whirl. Alright, but purples, let us have a crack at it. I have a beat right here, utilizing six groups. And in this case, we're going to mute each one of these groups individually and record that informationalizing. First off, since my groups here are filled, I'll hold down Shift and press group group B. Now we got an empty set of eight groups right here. And in here is where I'm going to put my MIDI and roots. So I'll make sure I'm on plugin right here. Go to sound, but open a browser, check user, make sure you're on effects, reactor, navigate your way to MIDI mute and root. Load that up on the first pad. I'm gonna do the same thing to eight more pads actually. Now all of my groups have their own individual mute and root. This is just one way of setting it up. Probably the easiest one. First thing we want to do after that is go back to our first set of groups. And this first group here, I'm going to go to channel. I'm going to go to the group tab. And instead of outputting it to the master here, if you see something like aux here, go one page to the left. I pick my first MIDI mute and root. Second group. Conveniently, we're on the same page. Second mute and root. Third one, third mute and root. Fourth, fourth, etc. Seven, eight. All right, amazing. Go back to my second group group. And right here, we are going to be able to mute our groups. First, I want to go back to plug in here so we get the correct information on the screen. Here's my beat now. I have some synthesizer doodle on this one. I have the drums here. I have some bass here. I have uh, some percussion, I believe, there. Here I have a little vocal chop sample. Here I have the main sample. And uh, these two, I don't really remember what they do. But main principle here is hold it down and you will mute it. This is all you need to do to set it up so that whatever you root into each one of these you can mute it by holding the pad down because by default, the pad is C3, right? It is MIDI note 60, which is C3. If you had gone in there here and changed it up to something like B2, now it's not gonna work because it needs to be the note C3 that you're pressing. But by default, when we're in pad mode, these are all set to C3. So let me show you real quick. Drums, sample. All right, so that's one thing you can do. You can record this information into a pattern or a clip. You can also invert them. Here you might want to be a little bit strategic, you know what I'm saying? Because, say I wanted to mute everything, I'm gonna need to use a lot of fingers. Some of the sounds that you want to play less often, you might want to gate them through instead. Then you can invert that one. So for example, this Moog synthesizer lick, I'll invert that one. I'll invert the vocal chop. I'll invert the bass. And now those are all the other way around. Hold down the pad, let the sound through. Ramsey, very nice. Let's take this to the next level because it's not only a MIDI mute, it is also a MIDI root. We're gonna make an effects bus right here. Let's load up a couple of effects on this pad. Hold down shift and press browser. Let's go with grain delay. That one is pretty, pretty radical. Small size, pitch it down an octave, get some jitter, some reverse, some cloud space, mod, 
And even after that, let's add another one. Metaverb. I just love it. I just love it. For this one, on sound level, in channel, there are two setups we need to make. We need to set the audio source to whichever one of these sounds we're going to pass off to an effect. We're going to set this one's audio input to another output bus from the MIDI mute and root. And the mute and root has eight different output buses per instance. So first of all, what I need to know is which sound do I want to send the main sample, right? So that's on pad six. I have to scroll quite a bit for that because I have a lot of instances now. But once I find sound six, I shall also be able to locate bus two, MIDI mute and root two. And we also need to go to output and MIDI. And we're going to have this pad right here. Transmit to number six also instance number six of MIDI mute and root to the channel to one and transpose it up one semitone. That's going to make this pad send MIDI note 61. C sharp three instead of C three sixty and sending that note to this pad is going to tell it pass it off to bus number two. Effectively, when we hold this down, we're going to pass our sample to the effect chain. Try something else. Anything you can think of putting here. Pass it on over. Simple as that. It's amazing. You can also set the attack of the track mute. Have fun, have at it. Shout out to Ansbert. Thank you for joining the Discord, the black hole, chatting some code with the purples in them. Okay, bye bye.